Hello, welcome to the first edition of Marketing Cracked from our brand new full service marketing agency, Codebrick. Right, today, I'm gonna to talk about social media. Everyone's a social media expert these days. We've got five top tips for you. If you've decided to use social media in your business, there are right ways of going about it and wrong ways of going about it. So the first thing we have to stress is the importance of team cover, 24 seven team cover, to be honest. Now, when we manage social media accounts, we have a maximum of three people working on each account. Because let's face it, the realities are people cry off sick, people want to go on holidays, apart from the owners of course, and you need someone to look after your social media all the time. And say if someone inquires on a Friday night, this day and age, people don't want to wait till Monday morning for an answer. So you need to ensure that someone has a phone with like the Facebook Pages Manager app on. So when someone says, hey, can I have a tour of your gym? You get back to them and let them know. Because by the time you get back to them in two days time, they could have gone off the boil. That is like the downside of social media. People expect, almost expect that 24 seven response. And that's one of the things you have to accept with social media. Because like with anything, if you're gonna make that commitment to do it, to get the most out of it, you really need to bear in mind things such as this. So very important to have ideally more than one person looking after it, and they've got out of that phone with them pretty much all the time. The second important thing is knowing how to talk to people hand, uh, online, especially in the days of bad reviews, very easy. Sometimes people don't even bother telling you they're not very happy. They'll go on to Twitter, they'll go on to Linky Dink or Facebook and, 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 and slag you off. Now, it's very easy to bite and believe me as a business owner, I know it's to, to jump onto it. And we have, this is something we have to manage with our clients who want to jump in and write back and go off on a big rant where you need to be constructive. You need to acknowledge people whether they're saying good things or bad things. And it's like tone is very easy to understand on the phone or in person, of course. It's a lot more difficult online, email, social media, but we've been doing this since 2010, 2011. So, we know how to read tone, even though it's been typed rather than spoken. And that's very important, getting to know the kind of people, when they're, when they're writing, are they really angry or is this just, just a bad time? How do you deal with them? How do you respond to them? Because more often than not, you can turn a bad reviewer into someone who is actually gonna be an advocate of your business if you know how to handle them. Now, sometimes the brown stuff can really hit the fan and you might get sort of, harassed or maliciously targeted online and that's something you know we we've had to troubleshoot for, for many businesses when something really kicks off badly so it's to understand that it probably won't happen to you but to bear in mind out of you know 100 people 99 of them are lovely but there's that one person you've got to look out for so be prepared to know how to handle stuff if something does kick off badly and goes viral gets picked up by the news all that kind of stuff you know how to have to know how to handle that now, that can only really be done by experience and by learning, and we'll come on to learning later on, but it's just something to bear in mind, because I think a lot of people, they see all the pretty stuff, all the funny cat videos, but that's like the tip of the iceberg. All the real work in social media land goes on beneath the water, and that's when uh, our guys were always having to learn, see what's happening, see what's going on out there, and, and stay on top of it. That's the only way you stay ahead of the curve. Anyway comes on to perhaps the most important thing, which is content number three. So content is king, everyone knows that. It's putting interesting information out to your audience on a regular basis. Now, when we take over an account, maybe what we post is just as interesting as what the client was posting before. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's about the same, but we do it regularly. Some of our clients have produced fantastic content great little short videos and stuff, but then you know something comes up and maybe they don't post another video for a couple of weeks or maybe something again, they go on holiday and nothing gets posted for a couple of weeks. Now you've got to bear in mind that a lot of people, they make a decision about purchasing something after checking a company out online. So that could be checking out your website, of course it could be checking out your social media. So if someone's interested in you, they check out your Facebook page and saw that you last posted two months ago, might that be enough to stop them purchasing? In this day and age, it might be. So consistent persistence is something we go on about a lot. We don't just research and post strong content, and neither should you. 
but you need to do it regularly. Now that doesn't mean vomit all over your Facebook page. Some people think the secret to sex is posting 10 times a day. Now, if you're Lad Bible, BBC News, whatever, of course, you can report on a whole wealth of stuff. But if you're a small to medium sized business, there is only so much you can talk about. And the optimal frequency for Facebook success is actually posting once a day. You are much better off posting an engaging piece of content once a day than posting five, six, seven wishy-washy pieces. So uh, that's so frequency is something you really have to look at. And the reason you perhaps only need to post once a day is your Facebook success will be underpinned by advertising. There is no point a business being on Facebook unless they're willing to have a Facebook ad budget. Now, before anyone starts moaning about that, Facebook is a business, they're here to make money. But this is a good thing, because where else can you reach a targeted audience from just one pound a day? If you want to hit women in their 30s who enjoy playing tennis, who have got children between the age of six and eight and live in London, you can do. Where else can you do that? Where else can you do that without spending a fortune? So Facebook advertising is, is a wonderful thing. And to be honest, it is very, very difficult to grow a Facebook page without advertising. So that, that, that's a huge, piece of, a huge piece of advice. To at least look into it, spend 30 quid, test it for a month, see how it goes. There are lots of different Facebook ads you can do. One to grow your number of likes, you can drive people to your website and call, you can have messaging ads, you can have data capture ads. So there's a whole load of great stuff to play with. To be honest, if we're looking after a Facebook page for a client, we probably spend 60 to 70% of our time looking at the Facebook ads. And again, this is all the stuff you don't see above the water. And then lastly, number five, I mentioned it before, is learning. We've, I've been in marketing now since 1996, and I still love learning, and I'm still willing to learn. And this is crucial in social media. It is such a fast evolving environment. What worked on Facebook now might, you know, might not have worked six months ago, and vice versa. So you've got to keep up. Shoot off camera here. One of the magazines we subscribe to, Marketing Week. Lots of great stuff about what's going on in the marketing industry. And it's very important for us to, to keep up with what's going on because we pass that benefit on to the clients. And if you're looking after your social media yourself, then naturally I encourage you to learn as well because something that worked really well, you might suddenly notice that that pound a day you're spending for some reason isn't reaching as many people as it was a few months ago. And Facebook as a free medium, they're not very good. Or in fact, they don't have to communicate what they change because the attitude is, it's a free medium, use it or don't use it, it's up to you. So you need to make the effort yourself to keep on learning. That's something we're always encouraging here at Code Rate. We've got a whole bookcase rammed with books because everything you need to know about business, about marketing is on the bookshelf. It's putting that time aside to learn. So those are five top tips. First, team cover 24 seven. That's the nature of social media, like it or lump it. Knowing how to read and understand people online, very important. Content, the variety of content, hugely important. Knowing how often to post as well, and to mix it up a bit, to talk about your business, yes, to talk about your industry, other kind of news, and certainly not to sell, sell, sell. The selling is done through point number four, the advertising side of things. Then number five is a willingness to always learn and improve yourself. That's it for today. I'll see you soon for another edition of Marketing Cracked.